Hey, welcome to another Cleveland Moto video. What we have today is the brand new from Kimco. It's called the Like 150i. And why this bike is important is this thing's going to be hitting the market at around $25, $26.99, which is a very low price point. To put it in comparison, the Genuine Buddy 125, which is carbureted, is $26.99. Uh, $26.99 for this bike seems like a heck of a lot of value. In order to make that happen, they had to go to China. And this bike has got a ton of features. Let's start by saying it has ABS. That right alone makes it a fantastic value. It puts it as a competitor to the Piaggio Vespa Primavera or the Piaggio Liberty. The Piaggio Liberty and the Piaggio Fly are both in that $28.99 to $30.99 price point, and the Liberty does come with ABS. So that might be the bike this one is actually best competing against. What we do like about it though, is it has the retro look without being comical. A lot of the stuff that came out had what they considered to be retro styling, but it really didn't look good. It looked more like a cartoon version of a bike. This I think looks great. I think it's uh, in the same category of the new uh, Piaggio Vespa Primavera, as far as the aesthetics of the bike, really nice. Now, if you want to come in a little closer, I'm going to show you some of the really cool features that we've discovered on this bike just out of nowhere. First of all, the LED lighting is fantastically bright. Uh, the headlight is the brightest thing I've seen in a long time, and it is very bright, fantastically bright. Then back over here to the dashboard, if you will. The dashboard, very intuitive. I like what's on here. The first thing that you're going to notice is a digital segmented uh, LCD gas gauge, time, clock, very easy to read. You can do military time or U.S. time. They also have the Fahrenheit, so you can change the Fahrenheit to centigrade simply by pressing the button. Right now it's 57 degrees in our showroom. Over here we see a battery charge indicator, 13.0 volts. Now this is the fun part. Up here in the odometer block, we hit the odometer button, we get trip number one. Sure, all bikes have that. Trip number two, oh, that's kind of cool. But then what about the oil trip? There's an oil trip meter. There's also a belt trip meter. These things are all resettable once you do your services and get your bike maintained the way you should. Pretty neat feature. Uh, scroll down or pan down a little bit more. You take a look at the glove box. Inside the glove box is the ubiquitous USB port. And I just think it was kind of a nice feature the way they made the glove box sort of come down gently. It doesn't slam down. It doesn't have the real cheapy, cheapy feel of brittle plastic that I normally associate with the Chinese bikes. It has the Kimco key that has the built-in locking device that you can go ahead and close the door over where the key goes in to prevent people from jamming a screwdriver in and trying to defeat your lock. Um, press in and turn to open the underseat storage compartment. Underseat storage compartment is very large. Uh, certainly among the industry standard, I noticed there's no charcoal canister in here taking up the room that you would otherwise need for your helmet. I don't think there'll be any problem fitting a double extra large full-faced helmet in there. Uh, the battery door, uh, and oh, this bike did ship with a YTX-12 battery, so it's got a plenty of battery, plenty of amperage. We put a battery tender, uh, Optimate charger, on all of our bikes that we prep here at the shop. Uh, something we recommend you do too. Two helmet holders on the external, two post helmet holder posts. Owner's manual warranty information. Now, some of the interesting things, if you want to pan down, take a look. The badges on this are not stickers. They're not just tape or uh, three-dimensional puffy stickers. The badges are really nice. They're very thick. They stand out from the body of the scooter. The tail light is brilliant. It looks like one of those modern Lexus tail lights where it's got that sort of uh, fog looking uh, tail light and the brake light is very bright. Uh, for the US market, we have the add-on turn signals down here, the DOT approved turn signals, whereas in the European Asian market, these two holes up here hold LEDs and I'll bet you it's not real hard to take those back to that European or Asian standard. Amazing things about this bike that I, I found shocking when I looked at it is they claim 13.5 horsepower. If this really is 13.5 horsepower, this is going to be one of the fastest 150cc scooters money can buy. Uh, their claim is at 13.5 horsepower. Their claim is at 8.7 foot-pounds of torque. With the Like 200, this bike's big brother, they're claiming only 11.3 horsepower. So this bike, and we'll be the first to tell you that the acceleration and the top speed of the Like 200 was never jaw-dropping. It was barely adequate. So we're hoping that this 150 really does do great. So on that, if you want any more information, give us a call or send us an email. 
We're Cleveland Moto, real easy to find. So go to www.clevelandmoto.com. Thanks guys, we'll see you around.